Hello traders, it's been a hectic, hectic few months and this last week has been so uncertain, very, very uncertain times. And that is why it could be a time of big opportunities or big time of time of reflection. We have four days to the equinox, sorry, the solstice. And the solstice should, should have been the highest point and now it's the lowest point. So it's what I call a, a reverse cycle or anti-cycle. It's an absolute dipper. It's an absolute lower. So I'm going to share my screen with you and show you what I've published on my TradingView account yesterday already, just to show and, and previous day to show my traders where this price would be going for the next, in the next few days or the next week. So we have now a, a situation where there are some else that are making little they, they're going into their normal triangles, shooting out these guys that are pumping their whales that are saying, okay, these coins are, are low, low, let's just pump these coins and pump them quickly and then get out when everyone else starts getting in and a person can be, have to be careful for those bull traps happening. You get trapped into a bull run thinking that this is going to go up. You might see it just goes pops up, pops down, pops up, pops down, and then the guys bail out and the price falls again and you got in too late so watch your bollinger bands if you if you're trading not a one minute or a five minute watch the 15 and the 30 and the one hour bollinger bands when you are in a trade so that you know we are in dangerous area now or it's kind of safeish still right let me show you my screen quickly the the most important screen to be watching right now is this one. Um, so previously I drew these, these lines on the screen to show you the general direction that the price is coming down. I'm reckoning that the, the push will go to 16,000, 17,500 as this, this coming weekend, starting from the 17th of June. So if you are saying, well, let, let me wait and see, let me, let me see where I must buy in. It's not going to happen. You're not going to be present. It's not going to happen while you're sitting in front of the screen. And even if you're watching it happen, most of the time you'll be too late to buy in. So it's not a good idea just to wait for better days. I'm suggesting that if you are get, going to want to get cheaper Bitcoin, that's unless you're just going to wait, wait it out like I hear many trades, I'm just waiting it up. If you're gonna stack some orders down to the 15, 16, 17, 18, 19,000 range, not all of them will always go through. And so this graph is, I'm, I'm, I said, this is the normal because I had a, it on a, I think it was a four hour graph. And I said, this is the pattern. It normally you'll see this, sideways choppiness, then it makes a little dip, and then it makes a big dip, it looks like a crow's beak. Then it goes down the edge of the beak, and then the sharp part of the beak is busy coming. It looks like a Friday Friday night bear run. So be careful of what's going to happen. All the other markets might come down together with Bitcoin. If you have Bitcoin and you're trading an altcoin, then go and stack your orders on your altcoins with Bitcoin lower. And then you grab those altcoins in the dip and when it comes up again, you make profit. So you can't do anything about Bitcoin, having Bitcoin right now. The best thing to do with your Bitcoin is either wait or jump into an altcoin at 5, 10, 15% lower. When, it, when that altcoin drops, it buys it cheaper and you make a 10 or whatever percent going up again. So that is all for now. There's no altcoins on the list. We're not going to look at any altcoins until Saturday night. And then maybe Monday, Tuesday. Have a wonderful weekend, folks.